for today's lesson, we are going to look at the Pythagorean theorem. So right triangles are triangles with one right angle. The legs of uh, the triangle form the right angle, and the hypotenuse is the side opposite the right angle, and it is the longest side, right? So we have these two legs connected at the right angle and the hypotenuse. In, whoopsies, sorry. In a right triangle, the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse. So, meaning, if we square leg A, and add the square of leg B, that should equal the square of the hypotenuse C. So you can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of a side of a right triangle using that formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So next up, you can write an equation you could use to find the length of the missing side of each right triangle, then find the missing length round to the nearest tenth if necessary. So yes, I want you showing your work. First here, I'm just going to highlight the side that is missing. Since it's a side that's not at the 90 degree angle, that means this is our hypotenuse C. So I am plugging in, and it doesn't really matter whether you do A or B first. So you could just go in order, 15 squared plus 8 squared should equal C squared. So 15 squared is 225 plus 8 squared is 64 equals C squared. 225 plus 64 is 200. 89, which should equal C squared. C is not alone yet. We need to find the square root of C to get C alone. So plugging into your calculator, for me, I can press this second button and um, the squared, x squared, which will give me the square root of 289 is equal to 17. This one didn't have units, so I can just write it at 17. Okay, number two, I'm gonna highlight my missing side here. It is connected at the 90 degree angle. It's an A value. So I'm plugging that in. We don't know A, so A squared plus the other one connected at the 90 degree angle is 17. So plus 17 squared is equal to our hypotenuse of 20 squared. So a squared plus 17 squared, well, I can plug that into my calculator or you realize we just did that. So plus 289 is equal to 20 squared is 400. Basic one step equation, we wanna get rid of this constant of 289, so I'm gonna subtract that from both sides. I get that a squared is equal to 111. And last part, again, we want A alone, so we're gonna take the square root of that. Square root of A is just A. Plugging into my calculator, the square root of 111 gives me a long, messy number, which I'm gonna round to the nearest tenth to be 10.5, and our units were centimeters. All right, number three, our missing side length right here is B. It's also connected at the 90 degree angle, so we know it's one of the legs. Our other leg at the 90 degree symbol is three. So three is gonna be our A value. So I'm plugging in three squared plus our unknown B value, B squared, is equal to our, our hypotenuse, eight squared. Three squared is nine plus b squared equals 
8 squared is 64. We need to get B alone, so we're going to get rid of the constant 9 by subtracting from both sides. We get B squared is equal to 55. And last step, B is being squared, so the opposite is to square root. Plugging into my calculator, the square root of 55 it's a long decimal, rounded that to the nearest tenth, and maybe put a squiggly line to show that your rounding is 7.4, and our units were miles. So that's just the basics of plugging into the formula, solving for C, solving for A, solving for B. We can also use this to determine if something is a right triangle. So if we know that A squared plus B squared equals C squared in a right triangle, if that is true, if that the squares of the legs equals the square of the hypotenuse, then we know that it is a right triangle. So when it's saying to justify your answer, showing the work to prove it is what we are looking for. Okay? So what I'm doing is I'm plugging in to A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I need to find my largest side. So 48.5 is the largest side. That's going to be my C value. So 39 and 32.5 are A. So I've got 39 squared plus 32.5 squared should equal 48.5 squared. Plugging into my calculator, 39 squared is 1,521 plus 32.5 squared is 1,056 0.25 and 48.5 squared is 2,352.25. Now I'm checking if I add these two together, am I going to equal 2,352.25? When these are added together, I get 2,577.25 which is not equal. The left side isn't equal to the right side, so no. They do not form a right triangle. Let's look at it for five. Don't just assume that the third one is going to be the C value. Look for the longest side here. 30 is my longest side, so that's my C value. So when I'm plugging this into my formula, doesn't matter what's A and B, but one of these two is. So 18 squared plus... 24 squared is equal to 30 squared. 18 squared is 324 plus 24 squared is 576 and then 30 squared is 900. So just like the last one, we're going to combine these two to see if they equal our right side of 900. So 324 plus 576, and we get 900. So yes, the left side equals the right side. So yes, these are right triangles. Your justification here is the work. Don't just jump straight to the answer. Show what you're plugging in. And last, some problem solving, going back to the volume and surface area unit. So thinking back to those formulas, all that stuff is that is needed. So find the measure of X. Well, what we have to look at here is we kind of have two triangles. I have a triangle down here, which is on the bottom of my shape. That's not where X is. My X value is in this second triangle up here. It's essentially from the front left corner to the back and then bottom to the back right on the top. If I need this X value, I need to know both of these sides, but I only know five. I don't know this measure right here. So maybe I'm gonna say this measure is Y. I need to solve for that value in order to be able to find X. So first, for Y, I'm going to use this original triangle down here, where we do have two of the measures. 
and they are the ones at the 90 degree symbol. So I can plug these into my uh, formula. 12 squared plus 5 squared equals y squared. So 144 plus 25 equals y squared. So 169 equals y squared. Last step, square root y is equal to 13. So this side length right here is 13. Now I have two side lengths to be able to solve for x right here. So I can plug in, I've got my two legs and my hypotenuse. So 13 squared plus five squared equals our unknown value x squared. 13 squared is 169 plus 5 squared is 25 is equal to x squared. 169 plus 25 is 194 is equal to x squared. Last step, we take the square root of x. So the square root of 194 and we get a long decimal that I'm gonna to round to 13.9. And we were talking about millimeters. All right, one more problem solving, this time involving surface area of a cone. Let's think back to that formula. Pi r squared for our circular base plus pi r L for that lateral surface area where L is the slant height. Right now, we don't have the slant height measure. We only have the height of the, pris of the cone, which would be used for volume. We need the slant height for surface area. So I can see a triangle formed. We are given the two legs, 9, 12. We need to solve for this slant height here. So first, I'm going to plug into my formula, or the a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 12 squared plus 9 squared equals c squared. So 144 plus 81 is equal to c squared. So 225 is equal to c squared. Last step, we're finding that square root. The square root of 225 is 15. So that's part one. We found that L is equal to 15. Now we can go back in and plug into our formula, right? Our base is the circle which we're doing pi, which is 3.14, times our radius, that length right there of 9 is our radius, 9 squared. So our base, 3.14 times 9 squared is 254.34. Our lateral surface area, we're just doing pi r l. So pi, which is 3.14, times our radius of 9, times our slant height that we solved for of 15. Plug that into the calculator, I get 423.9. Now, for our total area, we are going to add those two up. So I'm going to add together 253, or sorry, 254.34, plus 423.9 to get a total surface area rounded to about 678.2 feet squared. And that's it.